You're at TJ's room. Hey, how's it you're, going, everybody? Well, you're hanging out in TJ's room. We're drinking beer. <laughs> yep. Sure. Um, we've got a new beer to, for you guys. It, it's called No Apologies. Yeah, and it's a double IPA. Okay. It's actually from the Blue Point Brewing Company. All for, that's from Long Island. So this is completely... A wee, I've never even had anything from this brewery, let alone... Yeah, we were literally just talking about this before we <laughs> started filming this video. I've never heard of this brewery before. And like I said, it's called the Blue Point Brewing Company. That's from Long Island. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of curious to try it out. I always like trying new yeah. random well, beers. Well, we that... went to the beer store for you guys. And we were sitting there. I, I um, and I so, said to TJ, pick one you never had out, because TJ's pretty much had all the beers I've ever had, except for a couple. You didn't have the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Arrogant bastard. Except for a few exceptions. But, yeah. So. But I said, pick one out you you never had before, and we'll review it. And he picked this one out, and I was like, cool, very cool. Mm -hmm. So um, we did read the bottle. Um, it actually talks it up pretty. Big. It, it says about the hops and everything. And mm -hmm. There's a lot of like bold mm -hmm. uh, hops, grit hops. So, uh, yeah. Um, but you know how labeling is with beer companies. Definitely. I, um, I don't know what they. But that being said, uh, it was a little pricey for this bomber itself. It was actually twelve dollars. But mm -hmm. you know, like I don't know. I was willing to spend the money for it and try it out. Uh, and I'm expecting it to have for a you. punch. Yeah. I'm expecting it to have a punch in the mouth, uh, especially with hoppiness. But yeah, let's try it out. I'm getting like a, a, a oh, roasted yeah. coffee, if you will. Or maybe not okay. even coffee, maybe yeah. maybe like a dark chocolate. Something's in there that's dark to me. It does have like a dark hint to it. Not, um, not, um, not coffee as in brewed coffee, mm -hmm. but coffee candies. Like, um, I guess I see what you mean. I mean, it does have a dark hint to it. You can smell the hoppiness, first off. Mm -hmm. That's the one big thing to note. It smells a little citrusly, slash just has like a fruity, like, overtone to it. Um, but more like citrus-like. I me. might even be getting caramel. I'm getting something... I can see caramel, yeah. Candy-ish in it. Like, it, not like candy as in, like, licorice or, like, mm -hmm. fruity candy. Like, old school, like, caramel or, like, that, ch like, chocolate, like, lozenges or whatever. Or, like, uh, the coffee candy. There's something dark and sweet in it. I can definitely see caramel, for sure. Well, there's originals or something. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there is, like, a really sweet smell to it. Um, so I can see where you're going with caramels yeah. and candy. Um, okay, so the color is nice. It's not see-through, so yeah, it, it's to me it's like a it, it's a bronze color. Bronze is a Pretty good one, yeah. Typical of IPAs, IPAs. Uh, yeah, of really hoppy beers, yeah, jinks. <laughs> but Drink. but yeah, seriously. Um, but no, it has a good color to it. Good smell too. Okay. Yeah, let's try it out. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. Um. Huh. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Not bad. I think the t it doesn't match what it says on the bottle. It doesn't. But it is good, but I still it's... like it, though, yeah. I was waiting for... I know we use this term a lot, but I kick in your mouth hops. It was like, oh, hops. Where the... Beer. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I literally said before we started drinking it, like, I was, yeah, expecting it to, like, really stand out with its hoppiness. And it does to some extent. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to, like, belittle the beer, but mm -hmm. I've had hop here before. I'll say that much. Mm -hmm. Um but it has a very smooth taste to it. Actually. It is. It's good. And the hops are there. The hot there there is a mm -hmm. flavor of hops. Um which I like. It's really good. Um Hmm. Yeah, it's really smooth and it does have a unique taste to it. It's pretty similar not bad. to the bastard ale yeah. we did on another video. 
Um, so check that video out as well. Yeah, you or should. check all of my videos out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's very unique. Um, also, we well, we forgot to mention it's at 10% alcohol. Um, so it's pretty strong, and you can't really taste that amount of alcohol. Okay, too. so here's my question for you, smooth. TJ. Was it worth the $12? Uh, that is a good question. Um, probably not. No. <laughs> yeah, um, I actually did know it was worth that amount of money whenever I first bought it. Uh, it wasn't until I was up at the cash register paying for it that I was informed that it was $12. Um, it's a good beer. I'll give it that. It has a unique taste to it, but you can get much better. Yeah. Um, I mean, for the much cheaper. Bomb, bombers are typically in the 9 to about $13 range. So, mm -hmm. um, well, so I, I kind of have a. I, this is my thing is it's not bad, it's not gross, it's good tasting. It was kind of worth the money just the first try. Would I go back and buy another one for twelve dollars? No, I wouldn't either. No, yeah. I wouldn't. But since we already got it, we're drinking it. I, fair enough, you know. Yeah, and I think I don't know. I think it's a good beer to drink if you're. Well, let's say if you're trying to get like a, a really strong beer that has a high amount of alcohol in it, that's relatively smooth that doesn't pack a punch in your yeah. mouth, like we like we like to say. Yeah. Um, I think it could be a good thing to try out because um, it's very smooth. Oh, this could be taste. somebody's cup of tea too. This could be mm -hmm. somebody's favorite beer as well. But I think you definitely raised a good point. I mean, is it worth twelve dollars to buy a bomber for it? Probably not, uh, unless you have the money for it, of course. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm probably leaning towards six, six and a half. That's where I was at. That was yeah. where I had my head out. I'm yeah. going low six on it. Okay. Uh, it's not necessarily be the beer itself, it's more going with the price. Uh, I think, exactly. I, I think the price is a little unfair. Yeah, for, honestly, if it was like, I don't know. Ten bucks, nine dollars, a bomber. Eight to ten dollars for the bomber, I probably would give it a seven. Uh -huh. I really would. I mean, it was a decent beer, but I'll, now, probably, see, I'll probably give it a six and a half. I mean, okay. yeah. I'm low six to TJ. I respect said, that completely, yeah. A, a six and a half, mid mm -hmm. six. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's decent. The flavor was good. It so, just wasn't what they yeah. said it was. And that's where it, they talked it up and it was a bit pricey for the product you're getting. Mm -hmm. So that, that that's pretty much what our rating comes from. Mm -hmm. How, you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, guys. So we can sit here and talk about this all day, which we really could. So you want to talk about this beer with us? Check out the Facebook. Or put a, a comment down below. Also, subscribe because we're doing more beers, we're doing whiskeys, we're just getting out of control. We love it here. We drink beer, we drink whiskey, we did <laughs> rum too, we're going to do all kinds of stuff. Stay tuned because TJ, old Tommy Jack, he's going to be here. He's partying with us. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as always, peace be with Later you. Later on, everybody.